Hello children, this is my book The Toy Horse and here is the author. I am going to read to you from the book. But first, I will tell you a little bit about how I came to write it. Well, I used to live in a house a long time back that was close to a road where some gypsies or what we call Banjaras in Hindi lived. And they lived in their carts right by the roadside and as I walked past I would often look at them. I could see the children playing by the road in the mud and they didn't seem to have too many toys like the more privileged children have. And summer or winter, rain or wind, they were there playing with their toys and their parents busy working. And I got the idea about making up a story about a little Banjara girl. And here it is. Rami was a gypsy girl. She lived in a cart by the roadside. The cart was made of metal. It had pretty patterns drawn on it. Summer or winter, rain or storm, Rami and her parents lived there by the road. Her father was a tall man with a turban and a big moustache. Her mother wore a white gagra, a long skirt which went swish, swish, swish when she walked. She wore lots and lots of tinkly, jingly silver jewellery and I really liked her outfit, you know. I loved the ghagra, the swinging ghagra and the lovely tinkly, jingly silver jewellery. Now Rami wore a small ghagra too, just like her mother's. Rami's father made hammers and tongs and all sorts of things out of iron to sell. Her mother made toy horses. She made them out of colourful pieces of cloth. She decorated them with little mirrors and bright tassels. When they were ready, she set them out in a row by the road. People who passed by saw the horses. Many bought them to decorate their homes or for their children too play with. Here, here's the picture of Rami's parents. So, you can see both of her parents are busy, busy, busy working on their jobs. Rami loved the toy horses. They had bright bead eyes and neat pointed ears. They even had beautifully patterned saddles on their backs. How she longed to play with them. But her mother never let her touch the horses. They're not for playing, she said. If you play with them, they'll get dirty. And if they're dirty, I cannot sell them. If I do not sell them, there will not be enough money. Then how will we buy flour? and dal and vegetables to eat? Rami felt sad. She did not have many toys. She only had an old rag doll and an old wooden top. She really wanted to play with the horses. She longed to play with the horses. Then one day her mother said, Why don't you make a small horse for yourself? And that is exactly what Rami did. She made a small toy horse. But its legs turned out all crooked and its head was bent to one side and its face, its face was so funny. <laughs> but Rami adored it. It was her very own horse. She had made it herself. She played and played with it. What did she do? She made it gallop on the road. She imagined 
she was sitting on it and going somewhere she was chasing robbers and running in a race so here are the various things that she did and she had a lot of fun <coughs> okay then let's see what happened next her mother's horses were standing by the roadside Rami took her little horse there and said, Here, talk to your big brothers and made it stand next to them. Then a lady came along. She wore a pretty sari and smelled of jasmine flowers. There was a little girl with her, as old as Rami. She held a doll in her, ar in her arms. Rami stared at the doll. <gasps> How pretty it was. It had shiny hair and eyes that opened and shut. It wore a lovely dress and tiny shoes. Here you can see picture. Oh, I'm not getting it right. Of the lady in the sari and the doll. <coughs> I want a horse, Rami heard the girl say. All right, said the girl's mother. How much are they for? Only ten rupees each, Rami's mother replied. Give me one, the lady said. Rami's mother picked a horse. No, no, the girl said. Not this. I want a small one. And she pointed to Rami's horse. That is not for sale, Rami's mother said quickly. It's not come out all right. Take one of these. Aren't they nice? No, said the girl. No, I don't like them. Why do you want that one only, her mother asked. It's so ugly. I like its face, said the girl. It's so cute. See? Its head is crooked, Rami's mother said. Take one of the other horses. But let's see what happens. No, I want that one. I don't want any of the others, the girl cried. I shall pay you more, the lady said. Let I have the small one, please. All right, replied Rami's mother. She whispered to Rami, you can make another one or take one of the big horses she handed rami's horse to the girl tears filled rami's eyes she did not want the big horse now she loved her own funny one why you take my horse she wanted to ask the girl you have such a lovely doll to play with <coughs> but she kept quiet she turned her face away and wiped her tears. Suddenly, she felt something being shoved into her hands. She looked down. Oh my God, it was the doll, the beautiful doll. Don't cry, the girl said. Take my doll. She smiled at Rami. I really like this horse, she said softly. Here are all the horses and here you can see the girl, the girl with giving her doll to Rami. <coughs> <coughs> Rami gazed at the doll. It looked beautiful. I can make another horse anytime, she thought. She wiped her tears and smiled back at the girl. Both happy. 